Hello everyone, it's Olivia here, and today I will be showing you how to get the Nation of Adoration achievement during the Love is in the Air holiday event. I will be showing both the Alliance and Horde versions, and there will be timestamps in the video so that you can navigate through it more easily. Before we begin, here is some more information on the achievement. For this achievement, we need to complete 4 daily quests that each require one lovely charm bracelet. Those can be made by combining 10 lovely charms, or if you're lazy like me, you can buy them from the auction house. The price is between 90 and 400 gold, and it really depends on the day. This achievement is shared for both factions, meaning that if you get it on Alliance, you will also receive credit on your Horde characters even if they never did it themselves, and vice versa. With all of this out of the way, let's jump into it. For the Alliance, we begin in Stormwind. In the Trade District, speak to Paddlefeet to accept the quest. The auction house is right next to this, so stop by if you're planning on buying the bracelets and remember to get four of them. Open your mailbox and fly to the Stormwind Emissary. After this, it's time to go to Ironforge. Go to the portal room of Stormwind, go to Boralis, yes, Boralis, and once you're there, go through the portal for Ironforge. Go to the center, speak to Petalfee, and then go to the Lord of Ironforge. It's a bit of a maze if you haven't done it before, so pay attention to my footage if you get confused. Teleport back to Stormwind. You can use the cloak, you can get on the tram, you can TP if you're a mage, or you can just simply fly. Once we're back there, head to the docks. Click the Darnassus portal. You will most likely be teleported to Darkshore instead, but don't panic. The tree is burning and, you know, that's all. Speak to Zadormi to take you back in time and fly to the zone. Go through the pink glowy portal. Once there, go to Paddle Feet and give the bracelet to Tiranda. Jump down and click on the portal to the Exodar. That's pretty smart, huh? I bet you didn't know there was a portal there. Once you are in the Exodar, go to the center and up the stairs until you are out of the city. Speak to Paddle Feet, go back down and turn the quest in. Now for the Horde, <laughs> we start in Orgrimmar. Take the quest from Petalfi and stop by the auction house if you want to get the bracelets. Remember to get four of them. Open your mailbox, loot them, and go to the Orgrimmar Emissary. Go to the Flightmaster and fly to Thunderbluff. Once there, go out of the little tube building and pick up the quest from Petalfi. Turn it in and go back to Orgrimmar. You can use the cloak, you can TP if you're a mage, or you can simply fly. Once we're back, go to the portal room. Take a left and teleport to Silver Moon City. Walk out and go to the center, speak to Petalfi, and make your way back to where we came from. Once you turn it in, simply go up the ramp and click the big orb. This will teleport you to Undercity. You might find that Undercity has been obliterated. Luckily, Sodormi is near you, so speak to her and she will fix it. Once she has done her miracle, fly inside where you will once again meet Petalfi, take his quest and follow the footage. It's a bit of a maze, but once you see where I go, it will be very simple. Turn the quest in by giving Sylvanas a bracelet, asking her what went wrong and begging her to go back to the amazing character she once was, put slash cry in the chat and celebrate your new achievement. Congratulations! You have just received the Nation of Adoration achievement and you're one step closer to getting the meta achievement. Thank you so much for watching. Please let me know if there is an achievement that you would like me to cover, and have a great day. Bye-bye.